Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to use unpivot transformation in SSIS package. First of all, we would like to know why we need to use unpivot transformation and then we are going to perform a demo. So let me take you to one of the Excel sheet I have prepared. So if you take a look on this data, we have sale person, sale year and sale quarter one, sale quarter two, sale quarter three and sale quarter four. So this is the input format. Then uh, what we want to do, we want to generate something like this. Uh, we want to have sale person, we want to have sale year, but uh, instead of having quarters uh, in the columns, uh, we want to have them in the rows. So we are converting uh, these columns uh, into rows. So that's where we have a uh, quarter one. So if you see here, sale for quarter one is uh, for Amir 2011 is 100 and that's where you will see Amir quarter 1 2011 sale 100 so that's where we want to convert and whatever the values we see here we, sh we want them as uh, coming under the sale column so uh, in, in simple words we have a data that's in columns. We want to convert that to into the rows. That's where we need the unpivot transformation. So same data, what you see here, I have put in one of the text file. So this is my text file and sale person, sale year, quarter one, sale quarter two, quarter three and quarter four, same names and everything. So this is exactly the same data what we will do we'll use uh, the unpivot transformation of ssis uh, and convert uh, the data to the required output uh, now let me take uh, you to the ssdt sql server data tools uh, and uh, create new ssis package right click on ssis package new ssis package as we need to read the data from the flat file get the data flow task Inside the data flow task, uh, we will be using uh, the flat file source. Oh, open the flat file source, hit new because we need to create a new connection manager, right? And here we will browse to the file. Column names in the first uh, data row, that's correct. Uh, rest of the things I'm going to leave as it is and see if uh, it is able to read. Uh, uh, automatically if not maybe we'll make some changes go to columns and in my case it did read the entire file without any problem and as you can see it is a column delimiter is a tab so that's what I'm using in my file and uh, you can see the data here so everything looks good now we go to the advanced and then uh, in the sale person it is that is a uh, DT underscore str that's what chart 50 looks good sale year that's not a word chart. I want to convert that to the integer. So I'm going to convert to the DT underscore I4. Same for the sale quarter one. That's not a string. I want to convert to the integer. This one as well. So all of the quarterly data I want to convert to the string. Uh, sorry, integer. Because they are, those are the numbers. They are not the string. So we are all good. Preview the data. Everything looks good. Hit OK return null values from the source as the null values uh, in the data flow if there are some blank values and we want to convert them to the null this is where we need to click columns everything looks good now we need to bring uh, the unpivot transformation so let me go and i don't see that under the common and uh, but we have under the other transformations Pivot and unpivot transformations. Uh, I don't really feel or see the use of these uh, transformations a lot, but there are scenarios uh, where we need to use them. Uh, most of the time, uh, what we do, we put the data into the SQL Server, and uh, that's where we use the pivot and unpivot. Uh, and uh, there is a lot more flexibility where you can build uh, the column list and all those kind of things uh, by using uh, the dynamic SQL. But here as well, uh, you have the file, you read the file, you can go ahead and pivot it. It's not going to hurt. So let's learn the, that. So now go to the pivot transformation. The very first thing, uh, as you can see, I did convert it, uh, this format uh, to this format by myself. Uh, I will say always uh, take a, a subset of your data, put into Excel and convert that. So you can see what exactly you are trying to do here. And uh, as we can see that uh, sale person and sale year, 
we just want to pass them through we are not really doing any operation actual operation is happening on this column and uh, the values itself and uh, let's go ahead and make some changes here so we want to pass through the sale person and year as it is but we would like to do some operation on these columns or the uh, sale quarter one sale quarter two sale quarter three and four now here these are the input columns and destination column so this is the column name that will have the value so this is the, the column it will generate so here we have given this name sale so that's exactly the name we can give it here you can write a sale or sales let's say sales so each of these columns values will be coming to the sales next part pivot key value what uh, value you want to put uh, for sale quarter so in that case what we want to do we want to put one for quarter one we want to put one for quarter two we want to put two for quarter three three and quarter four we want to put four so if you go we will go back here so we have sale quarter one sale quarter two three and four so i don't want to put sale q1 q2 and all that i am okay with one two three and uh, this column whatever we have here see these are the values we are using from here and uh, this is the name that will become so we can copy this name and here is say pivot key value column name so that's what we need to provide these will be the, become the values for quarter number column and this will be the, the values actual data values for sale they will become here they will come as a part of a sales column so now we are all good hit ok let's uh, bring the multicast transformation here and then we can put uh, multicast I'm bringing here just to show you the data or the output so we can put uh, data viewer here between the unpivot and multicast enable data viewer and we have selected all those columns and uh, if I want to go take them back first of all I want to put sale person so you can see better and then we have a sale quarter number and then at the end we want to put the sale so it's, I just want to show you in sequence now let's go ahead and run the package and as we can see that uh, now we have sale person we have sale year and then we have quarter number and then uh, finally we have sale uh, that's the uh, actual uh, sale amount uh, so that's how you will be using unpivot transformation in SSIS uh, package uh, one thing again uh, always uh, try to convert your source data to the output data by yourself uh, you don't have to have a thousand of rows uh, to convert just uh, a small subset uh, that can tell you what exactly you want to do and once you have that uh, and you understand uh, then uh, here in the unpivot transformation uh, you can go back and small make small changes whatever the columns need to pass through and you don't want to do any operation on them just click them rest of those columns that you want to convert to the rows you will select them here and then here you will provide the name of the column that should obtain the values and this will be the pivot key value so by using such as sale quarter one this could be q1 as well so in my case i just put one and two and three and four these will be there and the values of whatever the pivot key values they will be coming under the uh, this column so provide the name of the, that column right here so thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next video